So what we're now going to do is to start looking at inequalities that involve exponentials. Now you may or may not have learnt about inequalities properly in A-level maths at this point. Depends on the order of teaching. Um, so there's a couple of things that we need to discuss before we get on to solving those types of inequalities. The first thing is knowing about what happens when you multiply or divide by a negative number with an inequality. So for example, if I had that minus 5x is less than 3, and I wanted to solve that to find what x um, was either less than or greater than, okay, so I want to solve that for x, then I could do this in one of two ways. I could either rearrange this, so add 5x to both sides, subtract 3 from both sides, um, and do it that way. So I could go and add 5x to both sides and then subtract 3 from both sides and then divide both sides by 5. So therefore, x is greater than minus 3 fifths. Okay, these two statements are the same thing. Now I could do it that way. Um, and I have seen people uh, coming up from GCSE that have been trained to do it that way. That haven't been taught that actually if you divide or multiply through by a negative number, then all that's going to happen is that it changes the direction of the inequality symbol. So if I divide both sides by minus 5, I'm going to get x on the left-hand side minus 3 fifths on the right hand side but because I've divided through by a negative this uh, inequality symbol changes direction and I get precisely the answer that I had there. So you can actually do this in one step rather than several. So that is the first thing that we need to know about. If I multiply or divide through an inequality by a negative number, then it will change the direction of the inequality symbol. Okay? So that's number one. Now, the second thing that we need to consider is the answer to this question here. Now, I'm going to be using logging both sides uh, as part of this method to solve exponential inequalities. Um, so I need to be a little bit careful with creating negative values. And the reason why I need to be careful is precisely for the reason for the first thing that we looked at. Okay, Dividing or multiplying through by a negative will change the direction of the inequality symbol. So the question is, write down a value of k such that the natural log of k is less than 0. Now in order to understand this, you could just bung some values into a calculator and see what you get. But to really understand this, we need to go back to what the natural log of x looks like. So it has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. And the curve looks like this, this point being 1 on the x-axis. Now, if this is the graph of log x, then you can see that it is positive, so it is above the x-axis here, when x is greater than 1, and it is below the x-axis, so negative, when you're between 0 and 1. So write down a value of k such that the natural log of k is less than 0. It's negative when you substitute in a value between 0 and 1. OK, so if k is strictly greater than 0, but strictly less than 1, then the natural log of k will be negative. So you're looking for a value between 0 and 1 here, and then you know that the logarithm is negative. So keep these ideas uh, in mind as we solve exponential inequalities, and I'll bring this up in the videos as we go.